welcome back to my channel. If you don't already know me, I am Katie. I'm a mum of three and on my channel I share videos about finding you, finding your style and getting organised while you're at it. And one of the things that is so greatly requested are more curly girl videos. If you haven't seen my first curly girl video and you have wavy hair or curly hair, go and check it out. It's basically a basic, like easy, how to on how to get started on the curly girl method and it's just gone crazy like so many people have watched it it's blown my mind so i am eight months into the process or thereabouts anyway and it's been going great so far except recently i've noticed that my hair and this is why it's up has gone really stringy and i didn't really know what to do i hadn't met this problem yet so i had a good old google and again it just wasn't that clear so i was like right i'm gonna do a video on it so if you've been doing the curly girl method and your hair feels really stringy and i will show you what that looks like. I mean, you can just see, it just looks greasy and a horrible and stringy and it's just not behaving itself. Like when I first started, it was so lovely and now it just stays like this. Um, it has to be a very good day for it to do anything. And after a lot of research into it and trying to understand, it seems as though I need to clarify my hair. And I was like, what the hell does that mean? Clarifying your hair basically means stripping it all off again. Not to the extent that you're damaging your hair by stripping it, but just getting rid of the buildup. I mean, if you think you're putting loads of conditioner on it, you're putting the custard on it, you're putting the gel on it, and you, I don't wash my hair as frequently, and obviously I don't use shampoo. I know some people use low poo, but I use no poo. Um, and it's just gross. So, the solution, apparently, is apple cider vinegar. Now, I literally have no clue. It doesn't seem to be that there's a special one that you should buy. So, I literally went down to the supermarket and got apple cider vinegar. I have managed to trawl all the websites to see is there this magical recipe to do this? Do I just pour this on my head? Apparently, okay, you're going to do two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar or it says half a tablespoon to four tablespoons i'm just going to go in the middle and go with two and a cup of like just cool water it doesn't have to be hot or cold just like normal cold water like lukewarm water um and i'm gonna make a solution now this seems a very small amount to use so i've actually got myself a jug and i'm gonna i mean it'll probably be two lots two lots so in total it'll be four tablespoons and two cups and i am not american but i like using cups if you don't have a set of cups go and get some i'll link some below for you it's so easy just to fill that rather than like measuring on a jug or it's a, some of the recipes said ounces i'm like i'm sorry i don't understand that give me a cup i know what i'm doing so i'm gonna make a jug full the process, it seems, is that you wash your hair as normal and then rinse with this. I'm going to go slightly off-piste and I'm going to use baby shampoo first to strip it and then I'm going to rinse with this. Whether that's right or wrong, I don't know. It's I feel like it's so disgusting right now that I need to do that. That's what I'm feeling and I'm going to let you know how I get on. If at the end of the video I'm feeling like I've made a huge mistake, I'll probably delete this. <laughs> I won't. And I'll be like, no, so what I'm going to do. But that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use some baby shampoo. So I'm just using like just like, well, it's, it's like Johnson's, but it's the Asda's own baby shampoo, no tear shampoo, which is what I used the very first time I stripped my hair of all the shampoo. So I'm going to use that. Then I'm going to do a rinse of that. And then I will put the custard and the gel as normal fingers crossed.
so I have to just say the before that I showed you where it was all stringy I only washed my hair yesterday and it was like that um okay so I'm just giving it a quick I don't even know what the word is I'm not great with the lingo um with the towel already I feel like it's clumping better like that is a you know these are quite decent curls now compared to before and I'm going to use my um uh, what is it umberto giannini curl jelly um just to scrunch those like that um i don't smooth it through because i don't really want to undo the good that's happening here so i'm gonna scrunch it or squish it again i'm not i don't really care about the lingo um as they are I give it a good old squeeze in with that gel. I didn't put too much in. Because um, before, what would happen is I'd, they'd be like this and then they'd thicken. But just the last month or whatever, they've just stayed skinny. So I'm hoping that now it will just, I mean, they already look better curls, but who knows? I just, I really hope it works. I really hope it works because I was doing so well and they just look so gross. So I'll come back later once that's dry. I'm gonna let it dry naturally. And I'll let you know how we're, how we're viewing that. But I feel like it's already an improvement, but who knows? Okay, I'm back. The verdict, although I don't know if it's showing up as well as it does in my mirror, is that the curls are much drier not in a bad sense dry but just not as greasy i just when i look in the mirror they look great um <laughs> and then looking on camera i'm like oh they don't look that great um but they everything is clumping better i mean i just <laughs> i'm trying to show you like can you even see can you even see what i'm talking about but that that's definitely improved you can definitely see that, right? Like, obviously I don't go around like this, but you can just, I think that is a better angle. Um, they're much better, much better. A step that I missed out, which I'm stupid for missing out, is the conditioner. I mean, what a dope. But um, I should have done conditioner, then the custard. I was just so excited to get it done. But I mean, there you can see, they're just like drier and bounce. They're certainly more bouncy than they have been. Um, so I would say that is the way to do it. I use the baby shampoo, then the rinse, and then I you do use the conditioner, which I missed out, which won't have helped the situation. Um, and then the custard, then the gel. And I mean, I certainly feel like they're back to you know, being less, I mean, you can see it's just, you know, they're just a bit better. They're better, it's better, it's improved. Don't know if it's completely great because I missed out the conditioner and it is still a little bit wet, but I feel like they're not as greasy and stringy as they were. Um, I just wish I'd used the conditioner. What a, what a weirdo. Um, but yeah, so two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar and to one cup of, of water, just cool water. Two tablespoons, one cup. I actually did four tablespoons and two cups because I wanted a full jug to be able to tip it all over and just like squelch it in a little bit. Um, but that, I mean, that's definitely improved. And if I'd have used conditioner, it would have been a lot better, but I'm stupid, so I didn't. Um, I'm happy with that. Anyway, I hope that's helped you. I hope that if you are sitting there right now with stringy, greasy, heavy curls, that you have a plan of action to go and sort them out. They're definitely like lighter now. Um, I just need to add in that conditioner. Um, if you enjoyed this video, do subscribe. It really, really makes me so happy it makes me so happy when i get that notification that people are subscribing and don't forget to comment down below let me know if there's any other curly girl videos you'd like to see i can make it into a whole series of all the different things i will be back next week with another upload bye